It's official. Liberians aren't going to the polls this week. Some parties allege massive irregularities in the October 10 election, enough to overturn the results. Justices of the country's Supreme Court say Aranov cannot be held without first addressing those complaints. For the candidate of the Liberty Party, the verdict is a vindication. The fraud was just pervasive. It was rampant. So, I mean, we believe that we have sufficient evidence to overturn the rule, the, the decision of the election commission. The election commission says it will respect the court order. We are urged to give priority to this matter. The and investigation will resume immediately and as soon as is practical or practicable. Former football star George Weir and Vice President Joseph Borkai are due to face each other in the second round vote. What's not immediately clear is how the judgment will affect the country's transfer of power. A new president is scheduled to be sworn in by mid-January next year. And some Liberians wonder if the election commission can resolve the complaint before it and still go ahead with the runoff. That is, if there are no further legal challenges. Petitioners indicate that there are, as they question the ability of the election umpire to hold a free and credible vote. They're considering going back to the top court again. Assuming that the Supreme Court would order a rerun, we will be advocating for the dissolution of the current election commission and the reconstitution of a new commission. Which could mean that Liberians may have to wait a bit longer to get a new president. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Morovia.